US Open champion Jeff Ogilvy has launched a brand new professional golf tournament in Melbourne. Held on four world-class courses, including Royal Melbourne, the event boasts an unorthodox format and a vision to become Australia's premier pro tournament. Jeff Ogilvy is a legend of Australian golf and together with revered course architect Mike Clayton, they know Melbourne is crying out for its own pro tournament. We called a few courses and they were almost unanimously, instantaneously, yes, we're in. The Sandbelt Invitational will be played over four days just before Christmas on four world-class Sandbelt courses, Royal Melbourne, Kingston Heath, Yarra Yarra and Peninsula Kingswood. Men and women and a mix of pros and amateurs will play. The kids need something to play in. You know, we're still playing football and cricket, but there's a whole bunch of really good players who've had nothing to play in for almost two years. Elite amateur Imogen Jones will tee it up alongside the pros. Uh, a little bit nervous to get back into it because I'm not used to playing under pressure, but super excited just to be playing a proper competition again. Ogilvy said he was disappointed Golf Australia again cancelled the men's and women's Australian Opens, citing travel restrictions. He says the two separate tournaments should be revamped as a single mixed event like the Victorian Open. The men-women thing I think is golf's always been a bit too segregated when I, mean, I think we need to get everyone back into the same sort of pile. And while this year's inaugural Sandbelt Invitational will be fairly modest, Jeff Ogilvy says the plan in future years is for it to be televised and to eventually rival the men's and women's Australian Opens as the premier professional golf event on the Australian calendar. An event that everybody can come to and it inspires the kids to play golf and gets people out there walking and come see their friends and be social, just like the races or the footy or something. It's more than just the game. Henry Peters for 10 News First.